I think kids are getting more and more disengaged. You know, they're seeing less and, you know, they have these, like, rockets in their pockets. They have the Internet. They're playing games. They're doing all sorts. They're searching for information. They're learning from other people online. And then they go to school, and there's a static body of knowledge they're supposed to know. And they can't see why they're learning it or how. The biggest challenges for teachers are the multitude of requirements that they have. Um, They've they've grown astronomically, so um, there's lots of testing that goes on. Uh, There's kind of hardcore accountability measures in place. So teachers are feeling, you know, kind of torn and and, uh, have have that pressure to cover, cover the content. It's really hard to be a teacher today. I have great, great respect for teachers, and, um, and we really try to meet them where they're at. It's like, here's the content I have to teach, and I really want to do this stuff. How do I bring them together? That's the reason why we're developing these tools. Um, That's the reason why we're trying to develop new curricular resources that allow them to see, look, you could teach literacy this way. You could teach math this way. There are lots more ways to do it. Um, but always being, you know, keeping in mind like the standards that they're held to. Design Lab is really that opportunity to get kids working on problems that they find worth solving. An extension of Design Lab has been developing these um, apps we call noticing tools, and the noticing tools are about making these math and science discoveries in the context of um, compelling design projects that kids can do. Some of the ones that our, my team has been working on is um, forced perspective photography, where you can make things appear wildly larger or smaller than they really are in real life. That's so cool. Like Kids love to make really interesting, compelling, funny photographs of their friends, of things in the world. But as they engage with that, they also get to engage with proportional reasoning and, and ratios. And we've built a set of tools around getting kids to unpack those experiences, but not by telling them, here's the math, but getting them to use the math. Um, for, for a good purpose, for something that matters to them, a problem that's worth solving. It keeps coming back to that.